Is curiosity killing your cat or your streak, your recovery, your self-discipline? If so, you're not alone. And in this video, we're going to talk about curiosity as a trigger for sexual addiction. My name is Heather Nielsen, and I am the founder of Fight the Beast, a porn and sexual addiction recovery organization. And I'm here to help you overcome your triggers and your root causes so that you can be free from porn and sexual addiction. Oftentimes, curiosity is the reason why people even originally got into pornography or sexual addiction at a young age. You saw something, it was interesting, you wanted to see more, you wanted to explore more. But as an adult, curiosity often takes the form of wondering what new content or photos have been posted by a particular person or curiosity about sex positions, what other people are doing. It often comes from a place of insecurity, feeling like you're not good enough and hyper fixating on what other people's bodies look like or what other people's bodies can do. Sometimes it's even curiosity about the story plot or what's happening in a particular film. The biggest thing to point out when overcoming curiosity is reframing it and recognizing that sexuality should be a shared experience. It's not possible to learn how to be better at sex from watching pornography because ultimately you should be learning from your partner, what feels good to your partner and having that shared experience. Pornography is fake. It is so fake. The people don't love each other. The people are just acting. Nowadays there's CGI and there's camera tricks and there's all sorts of props and chemicals involved and all of these artificial tools that they use to create a particular scene. And again, the actors are putting on a show. They are trying to show pleasure, show excitement so that you stay hooked and keep watching. But oftentimes this is not what real loving connected intimacy looks like, nor is it what it should be. Those people are not you and they aren't exploring real sexuality at that point. Real sexuality is about bonding and exploring with your partner to create a beautiful, magical, and shared experience, which doesn't happen in pornography. Pornography is voyeurism. It is something that you are watching rather than something you are actively participating in. I know a couple that when they first got married, she had had sex before, but he hadn't. His only sexual experiences were 20 years of watching pornography. And so as they got married, he had extreme difficulty and confusion about how sex works. There were a lot of times where he was very confused, like, shouldn't, shouldn't a woman's body do this? Shouldn't you feel pleasure this way? Why aren't you making enough noise? All of these projections because his idea of sexuality came from pornography. And so he was very confused and very frustrated and very insecure because he felt like what he was doing was not producing the same results. And they said that they would have to like Google things like, well, don't women do this? No, actually only 5% of women do that, you know, or maybe 30% of women say that this does cause them pain. And so they had this very, very messy um, introduction to sexuality in their relationship because of pornography. And this is quite common. I know a lot of couples that experience this issue. Like I said, ultimately real sexuality is about exploring this together. And when people try to replicate what they see in films, it doesn't look the same. It doesn't feel the same. It's a first person experience. There's laughter. Things go wrong. So the first aspect of resisting curiosity is recognizing that none of that's real and that's not really what you want for a healthy sex life. The second aspect comes from resisting self-pleasure, resisting the curiosity of, I wonder, it's been a while, I wonder what this would feel like, I wonder what would happen if I... The reality is most of the time you know. You know what it feels like and you don't need to continue exploring that. Exploring the dark web of pornography and online sexual content. It's like exploring the sewer system compared to real sex, which can be magical and powerful and wonderful. Ultimately, the online content is going to leave you feeling more lonely, more confused, more broken, more empty, and it's going to contribute to a long-term intimacy and sexual issues. As a part of your recovery process, you may want to come up with some catchphrases that work for you. Something like, 
I don't need to find out, or I don't want to know, or I want to explore that with somebody, not just on the internet. Reframing your negative and intrusive thoughts when it comes to pornography and sexual addiction is so important for your recovery. If you are struggling, check the links below. If you haven't already, come join our free online community as well as the 30-day course that's going to help you achieve that long-term success. And don't be afraid to reach out if you are struggling. Be sure to hit like and subscribe, make good choices, and thanks for watching.